lost a lot of motivation in online school, so I changed to hybrid. Well, I don't really see people I know here that much, but like, it's fine when I see someone I know. Now, COVID time's totally different. <laughs> we really miss seeing the kids here at the, at the high school, so a day right now is totally different than the way it was back when we had kids here. What I really took for granted in this role is being able to build a relationship in person with students, having conversation in an office, and having them express themselves and being freely to be emotional, whatever it may be. I think that what I really want students to know is that what they have been able to accomplish this school year and, and this calendar year, because we've been out in this wonky mode, learning mode, for over a year now. And what I really want them to know is that they were able to make it work. Whatever it was that they did, they adjusted, they learned something new, and they continued to persevere until they could accomplish their goal. So, but I learned a lot. It's been, it's been good in that I've learned a lot, things we can do in Zoom that we can continue to do after we come back. importance of the arts and the King County Four Culture gave us a grant to create a mural and they had an artist in residence, Melanie Menke, who came in and worked with the art teacher. Going in and around the building for, you know, eight, ten hours a day. We've been doing a lot of deep maintenance since COVID started. I wasn't the best student to start. I, I had a lot of trouble and discipline issues all the way through the start of high school and then at the start of high school something clicked for me. I finally started uh, getting some teachers that I felt like really engaged me and it, it changed my whole education process and that's what propelled me to go to college. So it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish and I, was, I had a really rough start but I, I finished pretty strong. I've been teaching English language arts for seven years and AP literature or the seniors. During the pandemic, it has become the focal point, get, get into a paradigm shift of focusing really on honing our technology skills in an attempt to really engage students in our lessons and our content. And then I was thinking about the, the goals and before I, I lay out goals for the next year, next couple of years going forward. Uh, but overall, the vision, I want our students to be feel seen. I want our students to feel supported. Number one, well, want them to feel challenged and at the same time supported by all of our staff. And lastly, I want to make sure that our practice, of course, is grounded in anti-racism, anti-bias, and making sure we're aligned with the district and all the other schools within Tuckwilla. Thank you.